Local artist Jason Lois finds inspiration for his art in apparel, on shoes, canvas, and streetscapes. The Wisconsin native's avant-garde take on art is getting a lot of attention. We're talking about things from a magazine cover to bourbon distillery partnerships. So much happening, and we had to have Jason here in our studio to show everything off. Great to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. Things are really popping for you right now. Things yeah. are happening. Yeah, I mean, it's... I've only been an artist my entire life, so it's about time. You know, and that's always a story is that you people think, oh, this just happened like overnight. You've really been pouring your heart and soul into Absolutely. a really specific style. And you brought some examples of kind of your style because when I'm online or I see something on, on Instagram, I know immediately this is Jason's work. Uh, and we have a beautiful bag. First of all, I've seen these bags in a lot of different places. And that's the point is that you want to draw people's attention to it. Tell us about your work 100 percent. So um, luxury designer Louis Vuitton, it's kind of one of my goals to uh, to be like the next collaborative artist. Yeah. I was just in Paris last year and I was able to walk through the Louis Vuitton Foundation, and see um, all the different artists over the years that have been able to to be collaborative artists with Louis Vuitton. And, and um, so it's a basically it's like a, yeah. a guerrilla marketing way to, to do that. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm putting my art on on the bags, but also selling them and, and giving somebody, you know, something special to walk through the uh, the airport with. Um, you know, it's a conversation starter. Um, and Talk about that because <laughs> that's the whole point of your art. And we're going to look at some of the um, art pieces in a second. You want people to think. You want want them to stop and go, oh, wait, there's there's more more to this. 100% yeah. because hopefully they're going to ask, you know, who's the artist who's that the did artist? that? Who's the artist, yeah. Um, but then also, you know, maybe that's a business person that is going on a business trip and, and uh, they're, they're able to to bring up that discussion point of like, hey, what do you do? Like, why do you have this bag? And and it, and it leads into more conversations. Right, uh, and you have a lot to say, especially we're looking at one of the larger pieces right now mm -hmm. uh, from a video you had on Instagram. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely, so I, I like to find these um, old detail ornate frames in like antique stores like Melwood has a great one, for instance, and mm -hmm. uh, I was able to find that. It's um, it's 54 inches tall by 48 inches wide, and it just had this beautiful frame. Um, but you know, the the art wasn't you know m my style, so right. I just kind of you made my own. own thing on top of it, and um, you know, was able to to get that to to one of my collectors actually. So well, we're seeing more of your framework here on the set here. This is a very different piece from what we saw there. Absolutely. Like you said, this is just something you think more mainstream, and this was recently on display. Play, mm -hmm. uh, what the Galt House area at Palo, at Palo, Palo West, West, which is on the 17th floor of the Galt House. Nice yeah. to be up there on that top floor sure. with all that Absolutely. business up there. Tell us a little bit about this. So this one's called Frame of Mind. Um, so it, it used to um, incorporate like a person, and then there was a bunch of wording that was in here. But I wanted to to kind of make it so that it was more of a showpiece and and not as descriptive as some of the other pieces yeah. that I have that are that are more busy, that are more entertaining. We were talking about that earlier mm -hmm. about the Easter eggs that I. You like putting Easter eggs in your work. I do. I love it. I love it because I'm, I'm planting um, something that maybe you don't catch right off. Maybe it's six months down the road and, oh, and wow. you've gone through some experiences and maybe that catches your eye or maybe it did catch your eye at first, but then you went through those trials and tribulations or life experiences, what have you, and then it meant something more to you. So you, I want it to continue to mean something. You have a lot of layers to you. Your work has a lot of layers to you. How did that develop through your life to, to where you are creating today? So early on, you know, I would create landscapes and stuff like that that was more family oriented for uh -huh. my grandparents, for my parents. You know, they yeah. paint a little landscape, you know, Bob Ross. Kind little of style. Bambi, yeah. yeah I'm know, there. Happy I see little it. trees. Happy um, little trees. <laughs> so, You're so Wisconsin. Yeah, it's <laughs> happy little trees. It in wasn't Wisconsin. really my style, though. Right. It really wasn't me. So, um, but through experience, we find our style, right? 100%. Yeah. Through experience. Um, and I'm self taught. I didn't go to school for this. Um, so it's all. Are you kidding me? Me. Trial and error, you, and just learning. this. This is just the the gift coming out. It's just wow. the gift coming out. Wow. Um, what we want to also mention. Um, congratulations, Arts and Spirit Magazine. You're in um, this month. It just mm -hmm. came out. The digital version is online, and that really celebrates not only like bourbon, but art around it, and what Absolutely. we're doing here in Kentucky. And so, how did that come about? 
Um, just a, a local partnership with, with Morgan Hancock, mm -hmm. and um, you know she's putting a lot of heart and soul herself yes. into the magazine, and celebrating not just me but other local artists as well as you know our famous brown water that we that we make here yeah. in Kentucky. So she's been, done a really good job of elevating you know what we are doing with bourbon barrels to to boards and planks and everything, and, and placing artists and giving you all a space to create in a different way, Absolutely. which shows off your work. Right. Right. I found out in a in a completely different way. Uh, speaking of the brown water. You also have some things that you've been working on with two distilleries here in Kentucky. Yep, so I did a collaboration with Willett uh, last year, cool. and I'm in the midst of a collaboration right now with Subtle Spirits. So we're getting ready to release those two bottles in March. We're going to have a, a fun little release party um, here in, in Louisville, and um, you know, hopefully that rolls into more you know, distillery collaborations in the future. So, silly question. So, is it difficult to sometimes paint on a bag or, say, a bourbon bottle? 100%. Right, like it's like a different surface than this. One hundred percent. So, what crazy things have happened where you're like, "Oh my gosh!" Now <laughs> I gotta, I gotta throw this Louis Vuitton bag out because I just messed it up. So I did the tubes for a special barrel pick for Willet, and I splatter painted very similar to the splatter paint here, but I splatter painted those cardboard tubes. And I had a couple that I had to play with because it is cardboard, yeah. and I'm splattering a wet substance onto it. So it was like, I kind of, you know, melted a few because they were too wet, and, and but. Um, it really came out in a, in a really nice end product. So right, I'm really happy right. Any, about it. Uh, any with bur with a bourbon bottle, anything else that's like weird to get around it? Well, thankfully, I'm just doing the labels. Okay, good. So, <laughs> this is a, you don't want to destroy that product. Right, no, Sorry. I do not. I do not. This one goes in the clearance section. <laughs> right, <yes. laughs> or I'm going to put this one on sale on Instagram yes, or something absolutely. like this. Um, I know Derby season's a big, big time for you. Mm -hmm. uh, anything coming up with Derby season or beyond that? Well, you know, maintaining, trying to reach out to Louis Vuitton and other partners yeah. to do big brand collaborations like this. Um, I will be creating my my own outfit again for Derby. Last year it was a big hit. It yeah. got over 600,000 views on TikTok. And Isn't that so fun to like create, like, you know, like all eyes on Derby that, okay, this is what I'm going right, to do. Right. I'm going to stand out the biggest way possible Absolutely. and everybody's going to know me as an artist. Yeah, I painted my jacket, had a Chanel quote written on the back of it. And uh, so it was a good, it was a good time. But so what you're saying is, I'm not going to miss you at Derby this year. I'm going to see not. you. You will not. You will absolutely see oh, me. I can't wait. I can't and, wait to uh, see it. Mercury Ballroom and the Palace. I'm doing a oh, collaboration yeah. with them. Mm -hmm. I'm actually getting ready to start my Jack Harlow piece that will be featured in, in the Mercury Ballroom. So Looking forward that's, to that. Congratulations on all your success. Thank and we're you. excited to have you here to kind of show off um, all the great work that you're doing. Thank you so much. All right. If you want to follow along all the success that Jason is having, just be sure to follow him uh, right here on Instagram.